there was uh, an internet rumor started by someone whose account is being called fake, but they just threw it out there, and the Tolos uh, sent it to us this morning. Michael Gallup for Stefan Gilmore. Just for the heck of it. Happy hour. Pretend it's 3, 4, 5 o'clock today. 3, 4, 5 o'clock somewhere. Would that make sense for the Cowboys? They are desperate to add secondary help. Gilmore is 30. He'll be 31 in September. Two years ago, he was the best corner in the National Football League. He's got one year left on his deal. Belichick usually gets rid of guys who are on the downside or starting to approach the downside. He gets rid of them one year early, which is the mm -hmm. smart play. Gallup, is he, a, is he a true two? Can he be a one? Would you rather pay him over Amari? Are you not going to pay Amari over Gallup? Can you find a third receiver to replace him? Would that be a win-now move? Would a win-now move like that be a mistake for the Cowboys? These are all the things that have been going through my mind as this was thrown out there uh, by someone pretending to be an NFL insider. Yeah, I uh, I would not make this move if I were the Cowboys. Uh, a, couple people brought, a couple people brought this up uh, to me on social media. You're losing Gallup next year anyway. I, well, you're, that's, if you might. I don't think you are, but you might. But you're also going to be losing Gilmore next year because he's a free agent. So either way, you're going to lose one of them. I'd rather have the more stable side of the ball, which is offense. Uh, somebody else, why pay Gallup? He's the fifth option on your offense. On what offense is Michael Gallup the fifth option? It ain't this one. He's the well, only deep threat this team has. He's not a top four. He is the fifth option here. How? Uh, because Amari's better than him. CeeDee Lamb is better than him. Zeke is going to get the football, and then he can be the fourth option. I'll give him. I'll give him. The, he's the fourth option if they don't throw the tight end. He's easily the third option. He's way above Zeke. No, he yeah. isn't. The Cowboys don't view him as more valuable well, than Zeke. That's Elliott. not my problem. That's their problem. Okay, <laughs> he is without question more valuable than Zeke is. I mean, you don't think team. that Michael Gallup? I mean, it's hard to do this. He's a receiver, but who's going to get and who should get more touches? In, in, in a season, I mean, Zeke Elliott obviously well, is going to – Zeke's going to get him. more touches than all three wide receivers combined. Right. So well, that, that doesn't mean him, that he's that more valuable. more valuable to them. Or, I mean, what is, what is Michael Gallup? I mean, let's just have this discussion. I, I, I got I, – all these Cowboy media members had a problem with me, and some Cowboy Homer fans had a problem when I was trying to fix the defense last year. And I was like, what could we trade? What could we afford to get rid of in order to help a historically bad defense? And I always brought up Michael Gallup. Uh, and as usual, people want to be selfish with trades and give up garbage and expect gold in return. I think that Michael Gallup can be a very, very nice number two receiver for you. I think right now that's his ceiling. I would disagree and, and vehemently go against anyone who tells me that he is a one or could be a one right now. I think he's a victim of too many options sometimes on the Cowboys' offense. Now, I haven't studied his route running down the field, so I can't tell you whether he needs to get better at route running. He's not getting open, but I'm going to assume that there's so many options for Dak to throw to that you're going to have guys get lost in the shuffle. There's going to be games when Amari doesn't get targets and CDs doesn't get targets and Gallup doesn't get targets, and that's what happens when you have an offense with this many weapons. Um, but that's where I stand on Michael Gallup right now. Where do you stand with his ceiling and what he is? I mean, he's, the, he's, he's not like – he's their only deep threat. He is the only difference – like, there's not a whole lot of difference between Amari and CD. Gallup is very different from the, from the two of them. Without Michael Gallup, who's the deep threat on this football team? Th there isn't one. And that is a massive loss. You're also looking at a guy who is dirt cheap right now. He's a third-round player. That is – amazing value and Gilmore you're gonna have to pay him this year more money than Gallup and then you're gonna have to turn around and pay him next year he's 30 now if yeah. you want to trade Michael Gallup for another a young DB a 25 year old defensive back I'll have that discussion there ain't no way in hell I'm trading him for a declining defensive back who right now is all name and not a lot of game at this point in his career yeah, on the surface, it's a number one corner. It would be the number one here by 
leaps and bounds versus a number three wide out. Now, the number three wide out is much younger and may have a better, probably has a better future, but you got to you got to weigh that with your team needs and where you think you are. I would I would ultimately go against it, not because I love Gallup so much. I'm open to trading Michael Gallup, but I don't want to pay Gilmore on the wrong side of 30 after one year. And the Cowboys aren't a piece away. If if if, if I thought of them as an NFC Championship contender, I would I would have a different opinion. It would be a different discussion because to me, Gilmore for a year or two. Might be, might be a final piece. The Cowboys are are much more than a final piece away. Yeah. So I would say no. And then the one other aspect is, you know, Michael Gallup's a free agent this year. So the I, but so the 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 the, the fear is they're going to pay too many wide receivers. When in reality, the moment Amari Cooper, the moment Ceedee Lamb comes up for contract, Amari Cooper's off the books. So you're not going to even need that. It's never going to happen. You're only going to be paying two guys. What you would do is you would just draft somebody else. If you were to tell me that they were going to draft Jalen Waddell or Devontae Smith or Jamar Chase in the first round, then we could have something to talk about with trading for Gilmore or not even Gilmore, somebody else. Yeah. But you know what this Cowboy team is going to do. They're not going to do that. They're not going to draft. I would lo- if, if they did, great. But, you know, I, I don't think this would make them any better of a football team trading Gallup for Gilmore. I think it would – I'd have to talk to someone in New England who or, or brought us after watching Gilmore. I mean, they were missing a lot of pieces last year. Their offense wasn't good. That put more stress on the defense. I would bet that Gilmore – for a year, for one year, I would bet that Gilmore would make the Cowboys better than Gallup. For a year. Just because of Schultz and Jarwin and Lamb and Amari. And and they're so empty in the secondary. They're so horrible in the secondary. They have no number one corner right now that they could feel confident in throwing out there. I think Gilmore would make them better for a season. But we're not, we're not in a one-season situation. Because we're not good enough to get close to the Super Bowl right now, in our opinion. 